Alrighty guys, so it's been a little bit since I've done a Hunter video, and I might as well do it on the newest thing that actually happened to me. Uh, a pretty unique animal, if you could tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video. But this is my first non-typical in years. Like, I haven't seen one, especially one like this, in probably... <laughs> It's probably been at least four and a half, five years. So I am extremely happy when I was trying to do the mule deer missions for, um, well, finish out the mule deer missions. And I just happened to walk over here and uh, Big Boy was just standing down there in the open. So you're going to notice uh, that I don't have a very long range gun. Yeah, I could have used the... 308 pistol, but I didn't trust it enough to actually try to do that. So I am going to have to end up getting close enough for a shotgun shot. So there are a lot of animals down here too. I don't want to spook them because if I do, he's gone and I might never find him. But this guy right here so far is my biggest non-typical. Um, I... Like I said, I haven't seen one in forever, and hopefully, hopefully, I might get one of a mule deer here soon that's uh, pretty good, too. If you guys got any non-typicals, I'd like to know. Uh, but basically, what I'm going to try to do right here is, uh, after I saw him, I didn't want to try to call him in because he was not responding to calls at whatsoever. He was not coming in. He did not want to even pay any mind to the fact that I was blowing the ground call. So I hit the sin eliminator, and I'm going to start crawling. I'm fairly certain that he's still sitting down there in the middle, and I'm hoping he doesn't go up that back side of the hill. Now, I count on the other animals not spooking as for a reason that uh, he's still there. And I only need to get, you know, I don't need to get too terribly close to use a slug on him. But I would like to at least get close enough to where I don't need to, you know, really worry about a broadside shot with a 12 gauge at, I guess, 50 yards or less. He's going down. There's no way he's going to get away. I thought about shooting him with the bow. Now, if he would have actually responded to the call and came straight at me. I perhaps would have actually tried that, but like I said, he's not coming into anything. Also, the Halloween event. Tell me what you think about it. I um, I really like what they did this year. I know this isn't the first year that we've had werewolves, but this is the uh, first year that we've had kind of like a an event like this. Uh, and I only need one more skull, and I uh, get it complete, get that EM and that two-person tree stand, which I really want. So, tell me how you're doing on that. And I like how they discounted the gun, so it's like extremely easy to get. And you can jump right into hunting werewolves, which are a, an extremely good moneymaker. I got one for my lodge, and now I'm working on getting an albino for my lodge. I'm not too terribly concerned on what the score is, but uh, I would just like to have a nice albino in there. I'm slowly filling up all three of my lodges. I managed to get an extremely big elk. Well, my biggest Rocky Mountain elk during this event, too. Somebody spooked a uh, huge bull elk. I ran straight by me and I nailed it with the 405. It was 418 inches. That's the biggest elk I've shot. And I'm pretty sure it's my first over 400 inches. So I'm pretty happy about that too. Now back to this whitetail. He's kind of just hanging out in all this, uh, all this, th like this thicket down there in between the little ponds down there. And I don't want to, I don't want to push down there because I don't know exactly where he's standing so I'm kind of hanging back quite a ways uh, trying not to really make a whole lot of noise and I'm if I would have been wearing the ghillie suit in this part I'd probably done a little bit better uh, 
apologize for being concealed uh, currently where I'm standing, but the Trapper outfit uh, gives you pretty good stats all around no matter where you are as long as it's a deer that you're going after, a member of the deer family, and it's not as noisy as the ghillie suit from what I understand, and it actually gives you uh, its own inherent scent reduction from my understanding as well. So, I'm not really concerned about them smelling me. I'm more concerned of them hearing me than anything. But, I'm getting ready to see him in a second, and he is hanging out. Give it one second. I'll actually zoom in on him here in a sec. I was like, I got worried that he actually, like, started walking towards where that power line is and started going back up the hill but uh he's actually standing right there hanging out in the the weeds right beside the water and this dude's a freaking monster dude so just thinking about it didn't know whether i wanted to actually push up for him or not and I'm glad that I did what I did, and I'm going to point out where I could have messed up. So like I said, I'm not really worried about him smelling me. I'm more concerned of them hearing me, not so much as seeing me either, but more concerned of them, of them hearing me. And when I say them, I'm talking about all the other animals that are in the area such as the the hog and i don't know how many hogs could be down here because this is a place where a lot of them like to be i also don't know how many deer are down here other than the few that i've spotted plus him so if one of them spook and they're near him that's going to cause him to run too and i'm never going to find him or i'm not spend a lot of time tracking so what i'm going to do is I'm going to get up in this little hill right here in this little, uh, these, uh, bushes. And I'm also using the semi-automatic 12 gauge too, uh, with the slug scope. So I'm going to get up in here. He's actually coming back this way. Um, and he's not really coming because of a call. He's just kind of working his way back through there. And, uh, this is where I could have potentially messed up. Because I misjudged how fast he was moving, and I got a little impatient, and I started walking towards him. Now, thank the Lord, I didn't make too much noise, but this really wasn't a good spot for me to be, because how was I going to see him? I didn't think it through. And I also don't know if he's walking directly towards me, so that is a problem too. And standing up, I don't think would have been the best idea. So I'll show you how I uh, corrected my mistake right here. Just walk backwards. <laughs> and uh, thank God they actually didn't hear me. Uh, but he is easing out in the open. And at first I was making sure that it was even him. And there's a gigantic wreck, nailing with a 12 gauge slug in the side, and he takes a dirt nap. Needless to say, I was a little bit excited here to see how much he scores, which, like I said, is the biggest that I have ever gotten. Just that gigantic, tall ass rack. 312. So I'm going to show you taking the trophy shot and the poses, making him look all nice and pretty. But uh, 12 gauge slug at that distance says the number on White Dell Deer. It's not like they're really going to get away, but you really have to try to mess up the shot to not get a drop on one. But. Make him look all nice and stuff. That humongous rack. I don't even know how he holds it up. Uh, but there is the picture. 
And I'm going to show you what he looks like in the lodge. I could have sold him. Man, I'd have pissed myself off if I'd done that. So here he is in the lodge. Looking all nice with everything else in there. My new highest mule deer of 230 and a 217 and a few other animals around in there. I actually have a feral goat that's on the leaderboard right now, 371. I mean, this guy isn't on the leaderboard, but, you know, he's my biggest deer that I've ever shot. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see y'all later.